Are you taking the GED test in Bangladesh? Then you're going to want to hear this. Hi, this is Parker from Test Prep Champions, teaching you how to pass the GED fast, and you can get started by clicking subscribe down below. So in this video, I'm going to tell you the basics that you need to know to take the GED test in Bangladesh. I'm going to tell you about the age requirements, I'm going to talk about the cost, I'm going to talk about how retakes work, and I'm going to talk about some universities that GED graduates have attended. So let's get started. So to take the GED test in Bangladesh, you have to be at least 18 to do it without a parent or guardian consent form. However, if you're at least 16, but you're not yet 18, you can have a parent or guardian send a consent form to help at GED.com. But if you're younger than 16, then you're just gonna have to wait. You can start studying whenever you want, but you won't be able to take it till you're at least 16 with a parent or guardian's consent. And after 18, you don't need a parent or guardian. So the cost is $75 per U, this is 75 US dollars per subject. And if you do the math here, there's four subjects on the GED test that you have to pass. So 75 times four is 300 US dollars. So you're gonna have to pay 300 US dollars in total if you pass all the subjects on your first try. With retakes, it can get even more expensive though. So speaking of retakes, so the, waiting period after failing a test subject three times is 60 days so you can schedule your first three tests without any kind of waiting period so say you fail on your first try second try third try but after you failed a test subject three times you're going to have a 60 day waiting period before you can retest and so the cost for retest is expensive it's 75 us dollars so that's not cheap so you do want to try to make sure that you're ready to go for the first time so you save that money here. Um, that's another big difference in, between the Bangladesh GED and in the US is the cost. The cost is a lot higher in Bangladesh both to sign up for your first try and for retakes. And so if you want to retake for a higher score, which some students want to do that in the US and in other countries as well, but some students if you passed but you didn't get as high of a score as you hoped for, you can retake and if you want to do that, you just send an email to help at gd.com and explain why you want to retake and they can approve you to do a retake to get a higher score if you would like to. Now, as far as language and location goes, know that you can only take the, the test in English and in the United States, there's some options to do it in Spanish or in French, but just know that in Bangladesh and in other non-US countries, you can only do it in English. And so now note that if you move to a new country or city while you're studying for the test, then you can keep your progress. So let's say that you live in Bangladesh and you pass two of the sections in Bangladesh, and then you move to a new country or to a different location within Bangladesh, know that you are gonna keep your progress on those two sections, so you're not gonna to have to take those all over again. So a lot of people want to know about university acceptance from Bangladesh, and so what I can do for you is I can show you the information that's provided on the GED Testing Service website. So I'm gonna show you a list of universities in Bangladesh, and according to the GED Testing Service official website, they say that there have been GED graduates who have attended these schools. And so I'm not gonna to try to list all of these schools because it's gonna take a long time. So I'm just gonna leave these up here on the screen, and if you would like to, you can pause the video and you can read these more closely, or I'll also put a link down below. But I just wanna show you some of the universities in Bangladesh that the, according to the GED testing website, students who have passed the GED test have attended these schools before within Bangladesh. So the list goes on and on here. And so definitely check these schools out if you're in Bangladesh and look for more information about them. And so, like I said, if you want to look at these more in depth, you can always pause the video, look more closely at these, or you can look at the link down below and you can go on the official testing service website and look at these there for yourself. But basically other than this, the main similarities between the, there's plenty of similarities between the US GED test and the Bangladesh GED test. So just keep in mind that the main differences are the cost and the age requirement can be different because in some US states you do have to be 18. Some places you can do it at a younger age, but those are the main differences or really the cost. Three take policy is a little bit different, but the main thing I would say is the cost here. And so after you get the GED done in Bangladesh, if you want to apply to other universities in other countries, then you would just have to contact those schools, try to get information. That's always your best bet is to try to reach out to the schools, the colleges that you're interested in, talk to them about it because they're gonna have more information in most cases than you'll be able to find by doing a Google search or by talking to other people. You can of course talk to other people that 
you know who might have good ideas for you, but your best bet is to always make a list of schools that you want to apply to, contact those schools directly by phone or by email, and just talk to them. That way you're going to get the answers directly. So your next step is to watch my GED Science video practice test. It's totally free, and I break down a free GED Science practice test where I teach you some of the science stuff you need to know to pass the GED Science section, and also watch my GED Math video on how to beat GED Math. I teach you how to get common test questions right. So thank you for watching. This is Parker from Test Prep Champions. Good luck on your test prep.